Hi, I'm Joni Rogers, and this is going to be a two-minute review of Great Buddha Gym for All Men's and Women's by Sally Tisdale. I, I read this book on my iPhone, so I can't actually show you the book itself, but let me show it to you where I bought it. I bought it from this new She Books publisher, which I, I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm addicted to the She Books. It's awesome. It's short form and so it's like novellas and memoirellas um, by the high caliber authors there's a great variety of stuff there's a great um, quality in the production of it so yeah I'm kind of addicted on the she books and this one I particularly loved um, Great Buddha Gym for All Men's and Women's by Sally Tisdale is about her journey to India to visit the four places that were important in the life of the Buddha. The place where he was born, where he died, where he taught, and where he was enlightened. And this um, is the purpose of her pilgrimage that is the vehicle for this really great little travel memoir, which my big complaint about it is it was short. I would have totally kept reading for another 250 pages, and I hope she'll consider expanding it, frankly, because um, it's it's kind of a sassier, eat, pray, love. Um, as she goes on this trip, I mean, right away she's in the complications of traveling to India, where there's, you know, a, she mentions a dog with bloody genitals and three legs limping across the road, and the traffic is insane, and she's trying to text her friend that she's supposed to be meeting, and he is stuck over there, and the the cell phones don't work. I mean, she doesn't gloss over any of the complications of travel in India. In fact, she makes it hilarious in places. And the poverty that is surrounding these places and the commercialization of these sites that are so important um, in the Buddhist practice. I guess you wouldn't say religion exactly. But um, but through it all, the the wisdom of Buddha somehow beams through and I think it's because she is a complicated person herself she's extremely smart funny a very very good writer and her life I think hasn't been without complications also and so the I can see why she was attracted to Buddhism for a lot of the same reasons that I am and I loved that she was able to make it so approachable and engaging where you're reading that I, I hope she isn't cringing that people are probably comparing this to Eat, Pray, Love but but it is kind of a similar journey and so um, and some of the places are, are the same but it's such a different vibe it's such a different attitude and I I really appreciated her approach to it all that she was able to make the wisdom of Buddha so expedient, if that makes sense. You know, it's now, it's here, it's useful, it's practical, it's, it, it's yes, it's 2,500 years, 2,700 years old, but it's so right, right now. And the psychology, maybe, of Buddhism is what really becomes relevant to this modern-day woman. So I am highly recommending this terrific memoirella, Great Buddha Gym for All Men's and Women's, definitely recommending that you check out SheBooks, which is, what is this website? SheBooks.net, not .com. Um, is it a book club book? I'm going to say question mark on that because, while if it was a full-length book, I would say absolutely it's a great book club book, but it's short, so maybe the better suggestion would be to do like three of these she books memoirellas as a monthly selection for your book club so that that could work but in any case check it out great buddha gym for all men's and women's by sally tisdale